Oh, I think it's time for another art vlog. What about you? If you're new here, hello, my name is Chantal. On this channel, we do lots of different art things. The last art vlog was very different. We went on a museum date together. We did a ton of drawing. It was a very different kind of art vlog. And if you haven't seen that one, I will leave it down below. This one's gonna be a little bit more chill, just bringing you along in day-to-day -day life. Today, I'm visiting my sister. So on the way, we're gonna be heading into hobby craft. There isn't anything in particular that I need, but my partner had his birthday recently. So he's got a five pound voucher as part of the hobby craft membership and there's quite a few things you can pick out for five pound really i mean i have an entire video on things under two pounds so i think we'll be able to get quite a few different things and these are pretty this is weird what is this Is this like I'm really tempted? I'm honestly kind of tempted to get some water base markers so I can use them for bullet journaling. Like, look how many you get here. I'm just gonna get some black paper and these metallic markers, which look so cool. Although I am really tempted to get one of these still. I saw these in Manchester and they look so cool. They're like jumbo graphites. Oh, yesterday I was really restrained in hobby craft. I only got the two items that I showed you. I think this is gonna be perfect for me and my partner's journals. And because it's big, we should be able to go over the page and that might look really cool. And then I picked up these oil-based. So I don't know how different they're gonna to be to Poscas because the Poscas were water-based. It's a silver and gold. I know there's a lot of other really good brands that I've heard of. I think it's Edding, Liquitex, and that's kind of what I was aiming for. But in Hobbycraft, they literally had Poscas and own brand Poscas. It's February 1st. We finished last month's Doodle Diary every single day. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit coming off there and this bit has ripped a bit. So by the time the year's up, this is probably gonna look awful. But the first thing I did think of are these dead flowers. <laughs> the writers are very dead. I think the purple ones look okay. These ones still look really pretty, but you know when it kind of goes all kind of funky in there? I feel like I should take these pink ones out. Although there are some that haven't even opened up, like these ones. I don't know if they are going to open up though, because like these ones are lovely, but these ones look like they're just not going to open up at all. But I think we might be able to press these. I might give them a try. I mean, they might be a little bit too chunky this bit here is quite thick i don't know i don't know if it's gonna work but we're just gonna cut off the ones that look nice okay this is everything this is what we've got so let's try and flatten them out i'm gonna pop these under a load of books and just kind of hope for the best i don't know i just find pressing flowers really fun and i'd love to actually use them when they're all ready I haven't filmed a video in over a month, so I'm a little bit out of sorts. I've also dyed my hair. I think this is the darkest I've ever gone. I actually dyed it like a really dark purple, and this is what we've got. I have this little scroller box to unbox. I was thinking about putting this camera overhead, but I think I'm gonna put this one overhead and have this one at my face. I'm gonna try that and see how it goes. We've got pastels in here, so I have no clue how that's gonna go, but I'll do some swatches and we'll attempt to draw something. It's the next day and oh, I didn't show you what I did yesterday. I used the scroller box pastels and I drew this eye. The video will be up on my channel by the time you're seeing this. I don't know, I think it's decent. I think the eyelashes kind of ruin it. This is why I'm scared of doing eyelashes. This morning I worked in this sketchbook and I did 
a little bit of character design. So yesterday I worked on this commission design and then I did a little bit of character design because I'm going to be doing star signs. And this gal is Aries. This is kind of the design that we've got. We've got loads of components. So I'm gonna need to sketch this out later onto Archer's paper and hopefully it will go well. It's a busy day. I, oh, that was so bright, sorry. I'm now going into my Cardi and doing this. This is a draw this in your style. I've not done one in a long while. Honestly, like I posted my most recent one on my channel in about, I want to say like June. I don't know, it's just a cute little demon gal. Um, before that I did this one, which I really like how that one turned out. So I'm hoping that this one will be good too. There's a lot of decent stuff in this sketchbook. Hi there, good afternoon. I've just finished a painting and I want to show you. This is what we came up with. I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with that and I decided not to in the end. I also couldn't quite get the hair as curly as I'd wanted to, but this is how the painting turned out. The background was completely spontaneous, but I do quite like it and I like all the texture around here. I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again, Archer's paper is good, but if you can't afford to do Archer's paper very often, it can be quite difficult to work with. That meant that when it came to like the hair, there wasn't a lot that I could do because I had quite a harsh line here down the bottom and Archer's paper doesn't really lift very well. Same with the eyebrows that lost a little bit of light. It just doesn't lift well. Although actually, I haven't put a highlight on the lips and so maybe I'll do that. A little bit of white on the lips, a little bit on the nose, a bit on the eyes, and also lots on the necklace. Although actually that doesn't show up as well on camera. So I'm gonna have to film my finishing clips all over again and take my final photo again, but I'm a little bit happy with that. Yeah, I think this looks cool. I think the white has really just completed that. There will be prints up on my imprint store and this original is gonna be for sale on my Etsy. So if you're interested in this, I haven't sold an original yet. So that would be incredible if anyone would like Aries. Whilst we're on the subject, the last time I created these commission ideas, didn't I? They wanted to go for number six's pose. Um, I think it was these clothes and like the kind of blue hair in this one. This is how the commissions turned out. What do you think? It's someone's OC, which is super exciting. The star sign video will probably be out by the time you're seeing this. And this commission one, I'm not sure when this one will be out. Hello there, welcome. Today I'm finishing off this tiny little sketchbook that I've been working on. I wanted to complete it in two days and we're on the second day so we need to finish it today. I've been thinking a little bit more about why I'm not a huge fan of the star sign piece that I made. And I think it's because when I paint on arches, I tend to over blend things. I don't leave any harsh lines. There's no harsh lines at all on the face. There's no actual shadows or lighting. That's completely blended under the neck. But that's something I'm gonna need to work on. I also got these flowers from my partner for Valentine's Day. We didn't actually end up doing anything. Unfortunately, he was working a little bit late. It's a bit odd how there's only like one of that flower. But they're really pretty. I think I might draw these for today's Daily Doodle. I did it. I managed to fill the tiny little sketchbook in two days. There was like 32 pieces of art in there. It was crazy. Hello, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a water next to you. I do. Yesterday I went to a concert. I went to see Poppy. I'll insert some Poppy footage here. I never know the exact amount of footage I can add without getting a copyright claim, so I always do the shortest little clip. That was really good. She didn't really say anything, but I guess that's the whole kind of character. And I actually ended up getting a couple of new art supplies. And when I say a couple, I mean a couple. These two new Neo colors. Moving on, today I'm working on a video. The video is, it's a how much art can I make video? So it'll be in that playlist, which doesn't have many, but I've got a lot of ideas for future videos that will be part of that playlist, like how much art can I make? So it will kind of end up being a series, hopefully. And for this one, I have a new sketchbook. This is gonna be a new messy sketchbook. I, I haven't had a messy sketchbook for about a month. It's been really weird because I've had the Daily Doodle and it's about time to start a new one. Firstly though, 
this new sketchbook, we need to write messy sketchbook on it. And obviously we can't do the front because like, it's lovely and glossy, but that means I can't write in it. Messy sketchbook, we need to write here. And I think it's number five. I'm not gonna go overboard. If you're new here, I like to make it completely messy because it's a messy sketchbook. It needs to set the vibe of the whole sketchbook. The sketchbook is low pressure, do what you like, have fun. That's the entire vibe of this sketchbook. So I'm thinking highlighters and I've got these metallic pens that could be pretty cool as well. Maybe if we just do the bulk of the initial writing in highlighter first. So I do it kind of jumbled as well, like I make it look childlike. We could try something like... Okay, and then I'm gonna go over in some highlights here just to make it a little bit bigger so that I feel like I can pop anything in here and it's like a safe space for any ideas and any little doodles this really is messy just around the outside looks a little bit odd on top of the highlighter I don't know if you can see it kind of it's got like really dark and then I think I wanted sketchbook to be in silver It's kind of, it's kind of cute. It's a lot cuter than my other ones. My other ones are usually a little bit more crazy than this. And I can't wait to get started in it. Today it's time to get the bullet journal out. It's the 1st of March, so there's some things that we need to do. There's also a few other little art side projects that I would like to do. Whilst we were out walking in town, my partner found these on the floor and I don't really know what they are, but shall we open it together and see what we've got? Okay. That one's shiny. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Oh, these are pretty cool, you know. I might stick these on the wall. Oh, they're all numbered. They are like actual trading cards. So I just stuck my two thank you cards really up on the wall. We've got the rhino and the watercolor. You know when companies do that thing where it costs virtually the same amount to get like a hundred thank you cards as it does to get a thousand? I think I bought a thousand. I got them a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure there's 500 of each. And I mean, I really love them. I think they're pretty and I think they're pretty high quality. I mean, they're not like fine art prints. They are thank you cards that I would write on the back for. But I've got a lot to shift. Because I currently don't actually sell physical prints and stickers myself, I do it through in print. I only do commissions and they're not happening very often. So I currently have a thousand thank you cards to somehow get through. So I popped those two on the wall because I thought, you know, like I've got enough. Why not just pop them on the wall? So I might pop some of these next to them. But I think when it comes to doing more commissions, I'm probably going to give away two in every single order because I've got so many. Like I do want to have a place on my wall that I can put actual prints, like the sibling one that I've got. Let's have a look. Which ones do I like but not care too much if the sun gets on them? I really like this one. Obviously that one's foil, so I might leave that one. Maybe I'll pop up this one. This one's quite cool. This blue tack is not sticky in the slightest. It's a little bit too big. Is that gonna bother me? Yes. That's better. At least when it's a little bit wonky, it's kind of deliberately wonky. It's the beginning of an art wall. Hopefully one day I'll have a place where I can have a lovely big art wall. I think it's finally time to change over my phone case. I've had this one for a long while. Honestly, I don't know if you can tell, but there's some kind of dark marks here where it's a little bit worn. This one I got from Stationery Pal and it's done me well. It's really sturdy. I actually have a card down below. If you want to see the haul, I will leave it down below. This one's really pretty and I love that it's clear because it's going to show the blue through really nicely, I think. 
One thing that I like to do when changing over my phone case is to just use a microfiber cloth. I have one specifically for my cameras and my phones, it doesn't do anything else. And just try and get rid of all of those fingerprints. I really love the blue, I think it looks so pretty. My phone wallpapers are super high quality and because they were done on paper, you can actually see the texture when you look close. I'll leave the link to my shop down below, but I've got so many different drawings and paintings that you can get as fine wallpapers, and they retail from just over a pound. This is how the flowers are doing. Some of them are pretty dead, like that one. They kind of do that fluffy thing down there, so I think they need to go. So I'm thinking that we should press them. This is the situation we've got. There's quite a lot of potentials here. I've also got a couple of little buds that never came through. But saying that, I'm not sure if these ones will even work because they are quite big. I mean, this is a lot, but I don't know if they're gonna work or not. These two didn't make the cut. I think they're kind of completely dead. Okay, cool. That's the pressed flowers done. Another thing I wanted to do was the paint palette. This looks messy, but I mean, there's so much we could do. I have my Himmy Jelly Gouache, which I would like to clean up. I've got these three palettes, which are really messy. They need topping up and cleaning, but I might save that for another day. This is my main watercolor palette and it's already getting messy. I mean, it's been a year since I made it. This is what it's looking like. And it's this pink here, which is just starting to go everywhere. So I kind of want to just add more paint to cover it up just to protect it so it's not moving so much. It's literally gone in here and it's gone there. I know that's a bit of a dumb solution, but I got some more paints for my birthday. You might have seen the birthday art haul on my channel. It's just gone live, but at the point you're seeing it, it's probably like been a few months. I got the buff titanium, which is already in. The lemon yellow is going to replace the lemon yellow I've already got, the neutral tint one as well. So it's Prussian blue and helio turquoise. They're the two new shades. But I like the knowledge that I have one palette with all of my good paints in. Maybe the indigo could be topped up a little bit as well. The sun is crazy today, so this is the angle that we're at. I've got my paint palette. I've got water and tweezers. A paintbrush and my messy sketchbook just in case there's any paint we want to try and save. I've also got my watercolour tubes and some cotton buds, but I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, so I think the first thing I would like to do is try and remove the bits of pink paint and just try and get rid of any kind of dust. One thing that I have seen a lot of people do is to just run the palette underwater. But that kind of pains me, especially when they're actually expensive paints. So I don't want to do that. It could really do with it though, but I didn't feel like it really did that much last time. I'll record it so you'll be just as pained as me. I do not know where this has come from, but I feel like a goo pot might be a bit too big. I've got like this tiny spoon that I guess my granddad kept. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Before we put my lovely palette under the tap, I'm gonna try and salvage as much of it as I can just so that we're not wasting too much of it. Though I do still want to do something to my other palettes. I want to make them usable again. They really need a good clean. This is the first spread done. I think it's kind of pretty in a way. I'm not happy about it, but I think we've got to do it. I'm not going to be able to fit it under the sink, so I'm probably going to have to use the shower. Let's give this a go. <laughs> okay, how are you doing? I think that might be it. I think that might be pretty done. This is how it's looking. I think we're going to have to let them all fully dry, maybe for a couple of days. Some are a little bit dirty, so I might use a paintbrush. Remove some water from these wells as well because there's quite a lot. Whilst I'm cleaning this, there was one thing that I did want to talk about. Very exciting. 
I got my first imprint and Etsy sale. My first imprint sale was actually in November. And I honestly thought that they were gonna send me an email to let me know. So I wasn't checking transactions because I just didn't expect it to happen. Yeah, so I got my first imprint sale. Thank you so much if you're watching. It went to Texas in the United States. I think it was when I set a sale, so I should do that more often. And Etsy was actually really sweet. It was from somebody that was watching a video I was watching on YouTube. They sent me the most lovely comment. It was a video about Etsy and how difficult it is to start and that kind of thing. And they found me in the comment section and they bought a phone wallpaper just to start me off, which was really cute. But there's a really big gap between the phone wallpaper prices and my commissions. So obviously, eventually in the future, I would like to offer cheaper commissions, maybe prints and stickers and really actually expand into a shop. I think this is going to need a couple of days to dry before we add some more paint. So I'll see you there. This is how the palette's looking. It does look kind of dumb, just how different these look. But they're gonna settle down when I start to use them. I ended up leaving these because there wasn't too much going on. Same with these. They're not breaking off, so they're fine. It does look so odd, the disparity. I've also got my two new shades here, which is really exciting. I've got more blues. We've got this one here, which is absolutely gone. But there's a tiny bit of blue in here. And we've also got this brown one, which is completely gone as well. It's actually doing okay. Let's see what we can get out of these. Using only what was left in both of these and the stick, I created this completely random <laughs> abstract kind of piece. These two pages, which I think are really pretty. And this one I use mostly the cocktail stick for and you can see all of the texture. I just think it's so pretty, but I don't know what I'm actually gonna do with it. And I feel much more okay about throwing these away now knowing that I got the most out of them that I could. I just recorded a Timu haul here and honestly like look at this look at the state of this the sun was shining like anything and I had to put paper all across here if I get my own place I'm gonna have to get some kind of frosting or something stuck on the glass because this kind of looks awful but this is the reality of it this is how the paint that I was mixing turned out it kind of dissolved and then dried up again Still, I want to try and use the leftover pieces. I'm thinking of just filling some pages. I've got the back of this that maybe we could do. It's kind of solid at the bottom there. That's everything I've managed to get out. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. We'll let it dry and then see if I want to add anything to it. 
I think I'm gonna end this art vlog here. Thank you so much for joining me. The next time I see you, I will hopefully have bleached, really light pastel hair. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this one. I do have a theme in mind for the next art vlog, so I think that's gonna be a really interesting one. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye.